This is the only Assetto Corsa Evo triple screen setup video that you are going to need to get it set up so it's singing sweetly with your triple monitor setup. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do this with NVIDIA Surround and, and without NVIDIA Surround for all you people that hate NVIDIA. So we're going to do it both ways, all right? We're also going to teach you how to set up your monitors correctly, calculate the field of view, input all those figures, tweak little bits of things in the cockpit to increase your immersion and just get it set up mm -mm -mm -mm, absolutely wonderfully. Let's waste no more time. Let's get to it. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. Assetto Corsa Evo does not support native triple screen spanning, so we're gonna have to use one of three methods that I advise. Now, we're gonna demonstrate NVIDIA Surround first. If you have an AMD graphics card, you can use AMD Ifinity, and I will also demonstrate in this tutorial using Resize Raccoon. NVIDIA Surround first. First, you are gonna to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before. 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the resolution menu and select bezel corrected resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click apply again and then surround with bezel corrected resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I will show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here, this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case, a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to set up Assetto Corsa Evo triple screens using NVIDIA Surround. To get Assetto Corsa Evo set up correctly with triple screens using NVIDIA Surround, the first thing we need to do is check our resolution settings are set correctly. Once you boot up the game, you'll be met by this menu and then you want to head to settings. Once you're in settings, head to video. 
Once you're in video, you want to make sure that you've selected the display tab at the top and you want to make sure that your resolution is set to your bezel corrected resolution that we set in Nvidia Surround. Mine was 7768 by 1440 and your aspect ratio should default to native. Now this bit's crucial, you want to make sure that triple screens is set to on. You don't do that, won't work. I personally like to have my triple screens with full screen off. I think it runs a little bit better for me, but obviously your use case may vary. Once you've done that, click apply and head back, and then we're gonna to head to the main menu again. Now, once you're here, we need to be able to adjust our triple screen settings in fine detail. And the only way you can do that is within a gaming session. So to do that, we head to drive, single player, boot up a game, whatever you want, and click start session. Pause for dramatic effect. See you in a second. Once you've booted up a race, you want to make sure you park your car safely so that you're not interrupted. And here we have chosen the pit lane. Once you're parked, hit escape and you'll bring up the menu. From here, we go to view settings. At the top, you want to go to the drop down menu called triple screen. This is just wonderfully easy. You want to put in your calculated distance from screen, which we calculated before, which is 620 millimeters. I calculated my screens width with my tape measure, like I demonstrated before, 727 millimeters. We're doing NVIDIA bezel corrected resolution. So we've already taken account of our bezels. So we set this to zero and my screen angle is 60. And that's it. Click apply, go back, done. How to set up a Seto Corsa Evo triple screens without NVIDIA surround. To set Assetto Corsa Evo up without using Nvidia Surround, unfortunately, the game does not natively support spanning the screen. So we're still gonna need a little bit of extra help. So if you're completely against Nvidia, this is the way to do it. Right, so you wanna boot up the game and then you wanna open up a piece of software called Resize Raccoon. There's nothing to set up with this. You just download it and it runs. I will leave a link to the software in the description below if you want to use this method. So enter stage left. This is Resize Raccoon, it's really easy to set up and all this does is stretch the screens out for you to fill your triple monitors. Now, what you want to do is in within process, you want to click the drop down and then select Assetto Corsa Evo.exe. Name the profile, whatever you want. I've just called it Assetto Corsa Evo, Assetto Corsa Evo Triple, Donkey, Rabbit, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, presets. Now, quite handily, it's got triple 1080p, triple 1440p, and triple 4K. So if you, you know, don't want to do any maths, you can click triple 1440, and it'll do it all for you. Now, I know that I need to adjust my horizontal offset. So this is window position X, and what that does, it moves the position in the horizontal plane. So you might have to play around with that. You might have to do negative 2560. You might have to do, in my case, positive 2560, or you might have to do zero, depending on your width. Obviously, if you're running different resolution monitors, that width is your total pixel width on the top of your monitor. The total window width is your total pixel width multiplied by three. So 2560 multiplied by three is, ta-da, 7680. And obviously your window height is your window pixel height, in my case, 1440. Once that's all set up, you can test it to make sure it's all running absolutely perfectly. And if it all looks great, you can click save. Now we're going to head to the simulator and make sure things are set up. So once we're in a set of course at Evo, we want to head to settings. Within settings, we head to video. Within video, we want to make sure we're in the display tab and make sure our resolution is set to our adjusted resolution in Resize Raccoon, which is 7680 by 1440. This is crucial, make sure triple screens is on. Once that's done, click apply, go back, and then boot up a race session by going to drive, single player, head to practice, start a session. I'll see you in a second. Welcome back. Right, so we're now in the pits and we're in a game and we're gonna adjust our triple screens to make sure they are singing sweetly. So press escape once you're parked up safely. And then you want to head to view settings. Then you want to head to triple screens at the top right. And then you want to make sure these are all set to your predefined parameters, which we've measured before. So my distance from screen is 620 millimeters. My screen width, which I measured is 727 millimeters. Now we're not adjusting for bezels within Resize Raccoon and we've obviously turned off NVIDIA. So this is a non bezel corrected resolution. So we need to adjust the bezels width. In this case, seven millimeters for me. Screen angle is set to 60 degrees. Once that's done, click apply. Head back, resume, and voila, triple screen, Nirvana. How to adjust the cockpit camera, otherwise known as optimizing the seat position. 
A big thing that we need to do for immersion and getting things set up just right, which I think a lot of people neglect, is setting up your seating position. This is not the same as calculating your field of view and lots of people get mixed up and it drives me up the wall. Anyway, to do this, I'll demonstrate. Um, you want to head into a game, park the car safely, again, the pit lane, and press escape. From here, you want to go to view settings. Now, you wanna click camera at the top and what you'll notice here is we can adjust our seat height. We can adjust our position from the steering column. We can adjust our distance from the steering wheel as well. Now, what you wanna do is imagine your steering wheel is in the car and sort of set things up to where you think it would lie up in real life. And for me, that's roughly about, probably about there at five centimeters. And that looks really good to me. Have a little bit of a play around with it. Again, imagine you're adjusting your own seat in your car. Once you're happy, click apply, and there you are. How to remove the steering wheel for ultimate immersion. One of the things I think is really important for any simulator I'm driving is getting rid of the steering wheel because that really increases the immersion for me. So if you want to do this, the first thing you want to do is boot up a game, press escape and bring up the menu. From here, you want to head to view settings. Then you want to head to wheel and dash at the top. And then you want to adjust this slider here that says visibility. And as you can see, we've got it to hide steering wheel. You can have it lock steering wheel, hide driver or visible. For me, it's hide steering wheel all the way. Once you're done, click apply. That's it. So, if you've managed to follow all of that absolutely correctly, you should now have gone from this to this. Welcome to Assetto Corsa Triple Screen Nirvana. I hope you guys have a wonderful time with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to cover anything else in the comments below. And if you found this useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. As always, Take it easy, guys. Enjoy your sim racing. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.